My name is Linton Wilson. Um, I turned 22 in a few months and I'm having those midnight thoughts. You know, when you're up at like 3 a.m. and you're in your own mind, you're like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Where do I plan on going? You know, where do I see myself? That's where I'm at right now. You know, I'm at one of those moments where I'm at a crossroad on what I want to do, how I want to live my life, how I want to lead my life. So this video, it's not for any of you guys. It's more of a self note to myself in a few years. When I was in high school, grade 10 to be specific, I had a guidance counselor. He was also my teacher. Um, he told us five years from now, you're always going to be a different person. It makes sense, but I don't know why that one thing, that one line always stuck with me. He said, five years from now, you are going to be a different person. I'm definitely a different person than who I was five years ago. I've grown, uh, I've changed mentally, emotionally, I've become a lot stronger. But even though I've become so many things that I wanted to become, I still don't feel content, you know? And that's where I kind of realized the cycle of dissatisfaction is so continuous. You never truly feel content. And a few months back, I started my self-love journey. I started questioning things, uh, more of a spiritual journey, quote unquote. I started questioning who I am, who I want to be, and how I want to lead my life. That's when I started growing my hair. That's when I stopped, you know, shaving, doing anything to my hair, and just kind of letting my hair do its own thing. It, it's been a journey of self-love. But how does all of this correlate to, you know, my lack of direction and my lack of foundation? It comes back to the fact that I still feel fucking lost at 21 years old. You know, I'm working on myself mentally, physically, emotionally. But it's it's like you never feel OK, like you never feel straight. You never feel content. And it, it just it sucks. And I know many people are going through this exact same um confusion right so this youtube channel here is just like a a bunch of my thoughts and opinions no filter um, no cutting no editing it's just me putting it out there you know talking to the camera talking to myself um i don't know what i'm gonna call this channel <laughs> i'll probably call it something like linton's frequency something like that something something cliche but it, it's cool you know what i mean um it's something i came up with something i liked Back to the topic of discussion, um, self-love, uh, spirituality, and things like that. I don't want to say I'm depressed. And I feel like a lot of people within our generation, when we feel a tad bit of sadness or overwhelming levels of stress, we jump to the notion of depression. But I'm not depressed. You know, I don't, I don't think I'm depressed. Like, I get really fucking sad sometimes, but that's normal. You know, it's, it's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel stressed out. That's a normal aspect of life. Um, it's a normal aspect of life and sometimes the sadness gets overwhelming and you may think you're depressed I want to tell you that you're most likely not <laughs> unless you've been to like a therapist or something you're most likely not depressed you're most likely just like in an extreme state of stress and I'm telling you right now bro like I am in that state right now I don't know what I want to do with my life um, I'm so confused. I feel like I lack guidance. I, I feel like I've been a bit lazy within the last few months, to be fair. But it's because of that lack of guidance, you know, the lack of clarity that I have. When I first started my YouTube channel, I had so much of a vision. You know, my original YouTube channel, if you're watching me, you're a new person. Um, w welcome. <laughs> but when I first started my actual YouTube channel, I felt such a level of clarity. I wanted to be um, the best reviewer you know, on the internet. I want it to be so amazing. But in recent days, I came to the realization that being number one is just a title. You know, it doesn't define my character and it doesn't define who I am. And because of that realization, it made me deter um, from posting so frequently because I felt like in order to become the best, I had to constantly throw out content, even if it meant my own mental health. You know what I mean? But I've become so... My eyes have opened, you know what I mean? And I realized that who I am 
and who I want to become, society and people around me shouldn't define who I want to become. I should define who I want to become. And other people's interpretations shouldn't guide me in any way or any form. Again, this, this whole thing is like a unfiltered rant. I just want to be myself. I'm so tired of... I don't know what it is. When I'm like posting on my main YouTube channel, I could be myself. I could be chill and talk normally. But when I go on Instagram and I start talking on Instagram, I just feel so much fucking pressure. Like I have to be somebody I'm not. I talk a certain way. I talk more formal. I just want to fucking speak, man. You know what I mean? I want to speak my heart out and just, and just be here non-filtered. Fuck that. Oh, I'm perfect. I'm perfect. There's, there's, there's no such thing, man. And I feel like within our generation right now there's such a concept of wow i'm living the best life right now look at my highlight reels it, it's so fucked up and it it makes people fucking sad you know what i mean it makes people sad not everybody's living stress-free you know i doubt you i doubt you even the person you see living their best life on their instagram story they're going through shit you know i would catch myself sometimes saying oh my god i wish i was living this person's life uh, i wish i was living that person's life but it's fucked up you know I wish I'm living my life to the best of my ability. Instead of focusing on them, let me focus on me. And that's where my perspective on life kind of changed, right? I stopped worrying about other people. I started worrying about me. So right now, completely Linton, right? I can give two shits about how another person is living their life. I'm going to live my life how I want to live my life. I'm going to focus on me. I'm not going to let other people's um, journeys dictate my journey. I said this a long time ago, but somebody else's chapter 20 cannot correlate to your chapter 10 there are already 10 chapters ahead of you focus on your own lane right and even right now like i know <laughs> even right now i kind of feel a bit of pressure because i know people on instagram are gonna see this they're gonna watch it they're gonna judge it but i'm just i'm just free ranting bro i'm just talking <sighs> when did it become so hard to be yourself when did, when did it become so hard to just show the how you are normally? You know what I mean? Social media has become such a thing that has fucked people's minds up. You know, social media has fucked people's minds up. We, we believe that so many people are living these perfect lives. And I would catch myself in this delusion as well, believing that, oh, oh my God, I want to live that person's life. They're, they're traveling. They're doing all of that. I want to live that person's life. They're doing all this. They're doing all that. People are sad. You know, people are going through shit. A lot of people are going through shit. And they just post the highlights, right? And I've fallen victim to that many, many, many times. I've wished I was in a different position in life. But I got to be grateful for what I have. You know, we got to be grateful for what we have, right? We got to work with what we have. I was watching a video on TikTok and the man said, we're so focused on how green another person's grass is, yet we lack the focus to take care of our own grass it was something like that he said we lack taking care of our own grass but we're focused on somebody else's grass take the time to water your own grass and it all comes back down to a lack of motivation and a lack of drive you know you're not consistent all the time you're not gonna be happy all the time you're not gonna be motivated all the fucking time there's no such thing as being in your bag 24 7 you're gonna lack some foundation every now and then and i'm so sick I'm so sick of people saying that, oh my gosh, you're going to be so more, you, you got to be in your fucking bag 24-7. That's burnout. That's unrealistic. You know, there's so many things you can accomplish. Take your time, but be consistent, you know, and consistency doesn't mean 24-7. Consistency means even one hour every single day. It adds up. Of course, you're not working as hard as the other person, but at least you're saving your mental health. At least you're saving your sanity. And there's so much bullshit on social media, man. I got to get off the app. But I'm still here. I'm still posting, bro. I'm still here. <laughs> Anyways, this is Rants with Linton. I don't know where this video took a turn. But I'm chilling. I'm vibing. Uh, I'm going to catch you guys in the next rant with Linton. Take it easy. Stay healthy. Stay positive. See you guys next time.